Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today I would like to do a throwback unboxing of this old Death Note figures. So this is from the DVD. If you bought the DVD version of Death Note, you will get this limited edition figures. So uh the first volume is uh, Ryuk and the second volume is Light Yagami. So here is the box. A big box for a small figure. So it says there a DVD video. Pop. Pop video. So there's the sign uh all light and this is L so there, there at the back light yagami and here is the uh episode episode four episode five episode six cast of characters and uh, DVD information here and the barcode so for Ryuk this is volume 1 and the other side that's the first only 3 episodes here 1, 2 and 3 episodes bunch of information DVD information play about the playback and as you can see there's the apple and the yolk. so I'm gonna open uh, light first I think I see uh, that's the bottom it's uh, so the top uh, the top that's the top that note in uh, blue color so we have here the base back uh, let's see not for sale but made in China so that's the box uh, the, the base I mean and here is a light on the clamshell So he's a very small figure. As you can see, he's holding his dead dead note notebook there. Dead note. So this is an authentic one, and I've seen a lot of uh, online shops that sell this by the set set of five or set of six so you get a re light ryok rem misa amane and l i think so five five or six figures and this is the authentic one so here's the side That's the base. 
So he's wearing this white uh, shirt and he's around 5 inches, 5 inches in height. So let's put him in the base. There you go. I'm gonna compare him later on with other figures. So this one, Ryuk one, the Death Note logo is on the red uh, color scheme. So we've got the wings here. Ryuk's wings. There you go. And this base. Same, uh, VAP, TAP, NTV, TN, something KU, oh, couldn't see, and then not, not for sale, made in China. So here is Ryuk on the clamshell. Mm, double uh, it's becoming sticky let's look lovely paint up because it's authentic so the details on this one is very, the paint is very nice. You got matte finish here, but this one is a little glossy. And you can see the details on the belt, the silver skull there, and the, this one, the chains, very nice details. Even get across here on the well, book, probably, and then we get chains, and then uh, it's like leather belt or something. And the buckle is very nice. So we got silver bracelet here. Another one here with the skull. And two rings on the right side. Right hand and another ring. So here's the back. For the feet, the shoe, boot. So we'll put the, there's a pattern here for to which, how to pick, there you go, and another one, another, so yoke is approximately, 16.5 16 centimeter 
or around six and a half inches. Mm. How do you? I think I forgot this one. It's probably the stick. Yeah. Uh, and then you, there's a hole in his butt. So we we put it there. No particular pattern, just around. Mm. That's what you call literally sticking a piece but and there you go and he is a very big figure compared to light So let's compare him with the uh, I've got a Pigoto figure of light, but this is just a bootleg as you can see. The color of the joints is different. It's not painted and the skin tone on the chest and the neck is different. Skin tone on the face is different. But I got him because we got plenty of accessory. So like this dead note notebook. And then he got the dead note holding hands. But there's no a lettering here of dead note. And then there's the watch watch There's uh, our light, but this one is like a Figma figure that stands around six and a half inches. So, he even got uh, this figure, even got this uh, Chain, cuff, cuff, handcuffs or cha with chains, chain cuff, and the potato chips where he is secretly writing the names of this uh, thing. And he even got the pen, pen for that, and a pen holding hand. So this one comes a lot of accessories. But he is tall compared to our DVD statue figure here, price, uh, not fire price figure, but a limited edition figure. So, I can probably talk with Ryuk. Yeah. He's, I think, uh, it's alright. Even though, but this is in scale probably. So, let's compare him with the other Figma 
figure here I have a uh, Haruhi uh, she's tall she, this one even got the base so here's uh, Senju Gahara Hitagi from Bake, Bakemono Gatari So this one deals with ghosts, monsters, and what have you. So she goes well with this Ryuk. And we have uh, SH Figure Arts Goku, Cyan Race on Earth. And a Marvel Legends Doctor Strange from the No Way Home movie. So that's it, guys. I hope you like my unboxing as part of my horror related figures this November. So thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and see you on my next unboxing have a nice day bye for now